What's up, y'all? Stay up, and I'm back with another Power Book Two Ghosts, season four, maybe five. They're in prediction, right? I have a theory that at some point within the next season, maybe the beginning of season five, Tariq just might begin to question if his father is really dead or not. And not only that, he's going to feel like the best way to find that out is through attorney Daniel Warren. Now, the reason why I've come up with this theory is because it's only so many times Ghost is going to interfere in Tariq's life from quote unquote beyond the grave before Tariq start thinking hmm Ghost is a slick nigga how is he predicting all of this Tariq's gonna be like why every damn step I take Ghost got some kind of plan it's like how is he playing chess with me from beyond the grave and this is gonna feed into you know all the theories all the theories, all the little, yo, while Tariq is leaving the venue, <laughs> there's this there's this ambulance car going by. The same ambulance that we've seen in the previous episode and OG Power and all of that and all of that. And and the shooting was from his point of view. So they from his point of view, Ghost hit the floor, was bleeding all crazy. But that's just his point of view. And this, that, and the third. Tariq's going to be like, Maybe my father's alive. Because here's the thing, right? If he was alive, there's nobody who he would admit this to from his past life besides maybe Tommy. But definitely Attorney Daniel. Definitely Attorney Daniel. And the last time Tariq was around Attorney Daniel, one of the last times... He was already kind of getting annoyed with Attorney Daniel. So what's not to stop Tariq, right, from questioning whether his father is alive or not to then deciding to either locate Attorney Daniel, follow him around, see where he's going, see if he's running in there, see if he might catch him running in the ghost and talking to ghosts, or what would stop Tariq from... And this would happen if he's going through a whole lot. Like, if he's going through a whole lot and he down bad, and then he pop up and Attorney General tell him some stupid thing that Ghost put in order to get in between him getting his money or or to stop him from, from involving himself with gas, he could be upset enough to really shake Attorney Dane down. He could catch him in a corner somewhere, pistol whip him with a gun, which Tariq is not above doing that. The only thing Tariq is above doing criminally at this point is harming women. He hasn't harmed any woman. He hasn't he hasn't put his hands on a woman. You know, the time where Tasha suggested that he kill that woman who would be a witness, Tariq paid her off, sent her on her way. You know, he's following behind ghost footsteps in that aspect, right? But what would stop Tariq from putting on that mask, putting on that black glove, going to find Attorney Daniel, popping up at his house or catching him in the alleyway somewhere, pistol whipping him and pulling him up, putting him against the wall and saying, yo, what else does my father have planned for me? Why you always got this information? Why you always got something from my father to turn me down Or make my life harder every time I try to advance in life, Mr. Attorney Daniel. (laughs) You know, it kind of feels like he's watching me and he's making decisions from behind the grave. From beyond the grave, Mr. Attorney Daniel. Could you tell me what's going on before I get mad? Or, you know, I could legally remove, remove you. From what's going on with this, right? And I could just replace you. What's going on? Don't make me hurt you. Do not make me hurt you. These are the type of things that we can see from Tariq. 
I think that we will see Tariq question whether his father is still alive. And all it would take is for one more letter. All it would take is for one more situation to occur where Tariq is making a move and Ghost goes be it, goes against it from beyond the grave. <laughs> Tariq try to Tariq try to get his trust fund back and attorney Daniel pop up with a law. I mean with a letter from Ghost saying if you lose the trust fund, <laughs> you'll never be able to get it back unless <laughs> not only <laughs> Not only you graduate with good grades from college, but also <laughs> you got to become president of the United States or something like that. Tariq is going to be highly upset about that, man. But this would all just add into the lore, you know. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you got Joseph Sakura, who plays Tommy, by the way. Tommy is probably the, the illest white boy in TV history, right? But anyways, he said, we will know for sure or we will find out if Ghost is alive or not by episode five of Power Book Full Force season two. He said that out of his own mouth, right? So here's the thing now. I don't think they'll directly tell us. We definitely not going to see Ghost. But if they want to make it so they're going to hint that he is alive, that'd be perfect. Because after Force, you got Raising Canaan, then you got BMF, and then you got Season 4 of Ghost, which was already shot. So it would be perfect for them to start dropping them little hints in Season 4 that your Ghost might actually still be around and I think that'd be a whole nother storyline an interesting storyline for Tariq to be dealing with on top of all the drama he dealing with people trying to kill me I lost all my money you know what I mean my family is my I gotta stay away from my family my mother trying to kill people I gotta protect my mom and on top of that my damn daddy might be alive and he making my life hard he don't care about my mother. He's not going to help my mother succeed. <laughs> he want to keep Yaz away from me. He's alive, actively trying to keep me from my sister. After I lost my own sister already, my other sister, my twin, I'm not having this. I'm a beat attorney Daniel up. But y'all let me know. Am I reaching? Do you think this is a possibility? If you feel in the content that I'm making... Go ahead and drop a donation in the cash app, man. J Peterson 91, man. You'll see my face. You know what I'm saying? And my big bald head. Pause, pause, pause. But yeah, yo. Also, also, I just started dropping theories and prediction videos and review videos for the shy. Y'all let me know if there's anything from the shy y'all would like me to do a video on. And if you don't want to send a donation or if you don't have a reference point for a video topic that you would like me to do, you can simply just hit the like button. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, help the algorithm gods place favor upon me. Anyways, I appreciate everybody who watches my videos and listens to my videos. Thank you. There's going to be more content coming. I'm going to get back on my vlog stuff. You know what I'm saying? Where y'all going to see my face on the camera and I'll be talking about life and and what I think about political events. And I'm going to give y'all some more um, uh, current events as far as what's going on in, 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 in the industry and black news and other news that y'all want to care about. As a matter of fact, if you're watching this video right now and there's similar content to the kind of content that I make that you would like me to make videos on, any kind of topics or anything dealing with manhood, uh, uh, Dating, anything dealing with parenting, just let me know in the comment section and I will make sure to make a video on that kind of topic. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.